This is not about freedom or personal choice. It's about protecting yourself and those around you. But our patience is wearing thin. Get vaccinated. I've lived in Ascension Parish my whole life. Born and raised in the grocery business. We're currently at 15 stores now, and the goal is to get to the mid-30s. A year ago, grocery folks, first responders, we were all heroes. The problem here is the mandate itself. It puts a wedge between me and my staff, having to make them decide whether or not they want to get this vaccine or I could potentially have to terminate them. The other option is multiple testing on all my staff every single week. And that burden is on the employee. You know, you're talking about $1,500 a month. You know, that, that's ridiculous. The Biden administration's vaccine mandate is illegal. It's about excessive government overreach and using a federal agency such as OSHA to try to implement a vaccine requirement within the workplace. It's not about the vaccine. It's about an abuse of power. For people like Brandon, the consequences could be absolutely devastating. These are people that we know. These are our friends and neighbors. It's a, that's the nature of a small business. Brandon does not feel that that's his responsibility. He doesn't want to uh, interfere with the livelihood of his employees. I built an entire life off of this company as a career. If this mandate goes through, It'll be a career down the drain for me, 17 years. We're already short-staffed. I'm expecting probably a 10 to 20% decrease of employees right away walking out the door. This is not an anti-vaccine case. This is an anti-mandate case. And they're getting in between those decisions that have always been made between the individual and their physician. It doesn't make a difference to me whether you're vaccinated or not vaccinated, but it's my right as a United States citizen to challenge this that I think is an overreach of the federal government. And I'm gonna stand on firm on what I believe. In talking with Brandon, we knew he was particularly passionate about protecting his employees and his team. And so partnering with the Center for Justice within the Pelican Institute and connecting with the Liberty Justice Center, who has a long and successful track record of challenging these kinds of government overreaches. As soon as the mandate was announced, we were filing in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, and the next day, they granted Brandon's request to stop the mandate on an emergency order. So this case is moving rapidly. The Fifth Circuit is making decisions. It could go to the U.S. Supreme Court. There's so many jobs at jeopardy right now, and I would just we would just appreciate the support. I think it's important to take a stand because obviously this, this affects a lot of the majority of Americans, it affects me, it affects my employees, but if, if we don't take a stand for this, what's next?